Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Very well. Nice. Welcome again. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Welcome again. Sorry, I didn't have connection, I think. All right. Uh, now, can you listen to me? Ahora sí me escuchan? Can you listen to me? Yes. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very good. I'm working. Oh, but you are going to be in the teacher, class? Or... Eh, Hola. Sorry. Sorry. No, le decía que si, si me permite un momento, voy a estar solo como oyente, porque tenemos varias tareas que realizar ahorita, entonces voy a estar solo como oyente. It's okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. All right, okay, don't get disconnected. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Carlos. How are you doing? Mm. Oh, I'm fine. Nice. But, but uh, I, I, uh, <clears throat> yesterday, was it was a problem with energy uh, electric with the electricity yeah don't <laughs> yeah. worry everybody <laughs> had a problem with the electricity yesterday everybody no exceptions <laughs> yeah yeah in all the country i think <clears throat> it was because a massive the... it was a massive blackout i think creo que fue un apagón masivo it was a massive blackout and uh, i i think creo que no what, how, how do you say I don't think so. I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, really? Uh, but uh, well, what's the problem with Guatemala and Honduras? Oh, really? I thought it was all around. Yes. Okay. It uh, was a uh, slow frequency. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, there was a problem with the system, I think, right? Yes. <clears throat> it's true. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So, but now we are here. We have electricity, so that's important. <laughs> because yeah. the reason uh, yesterday I can arrive uh, at a time, a tempo. On time, you can say on time. On time. Okay. In my house. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. It's okay. I know many people had problems, okay? So don't worry. Hello, Doris. Long time no see. Oh my goodness. Hi, teacher. Hello, I how am, are you? I am very, very good. Oh, nice. Long I time no see. Dia de novela. Long time no see. <laughs> I am working. Oh my goodness. In, in my two works. <laughs> oh my, you have two works. Uh, Okay. Oh my goodness! The, I know my, it's... my my second word is is with a, a photographer photographer with oh. Didi Aguila. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh, am, so you mix... I am very happy. <laughs> yeah, it's, I imagine you're happy because you are mixing your job with your passion. <laughs> yes. I know, I know watching watching I know watching the Lagila is your passion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Pero ya <laughs> okay, congrats. Felicidades. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so let's start. Uh, so I hope everybody is good. Espero que todos estén bien. Ready for uh, today's class, right? Of course. So let's begin with today's class. I didn't check the platform, but I hope everybody finished uh, the work on, the, on section three, right? No he revisado una plataforma, pero la voy a revisar en un momento, porque yo sé que algunos al inicio todavía están trabajando, okay? Uh, just to see if you finished, okay? Espero que todos hayan terminado el trabajo de la plataforma, section three, section number three, 
Okay, so let's start and I will pass the attendance. Carlos? Present teacher. Claudia? Cristina? Present teacher. Very good. Daniel? Doris? Raquel? Present. Elenison? Present teacher. Elsie? Hazel, Héctor, present teacher, Irma, present teacher, good audio today, Irma, excellent, okay, Javier, oh, he's working, right, Johnny, present teacher, it's okay, yeah. I know you're working, it's okay, don't worry, oh, okay. uh, Johnny, Thank you. Johnny hasn't got connected lately, okay, uh, let's see, uh, Mauricio, Hola, eh, me voy conectando. All right, I'm passing the attendance. Yeah, present. <laughs> okay, Lucy? Yeah, right on time. Present. Majo? Present, teacher. All right. I'm happy that you could solve the problem, Majo. <laughs> yes. All right. Rafael? Not connected, right? Santos? Present teacher. Oh, oh, Rafa is here. I'm sorry. Present teacher. Okay. Ulises? Present teacher. Wendy? I am here, teacher. Nice. Carla Maria? Present. All right. And Carla Raquel? Present teacher. Okay. Very good, the two Carlas functional as always. Very good, excellent. All right, uh, so uh, welcome again. Bienvenidos nuevamente, welcome again. Uh, today is session number 15, right? Today is session number, uh, I mean 15. And basically tomorrow we start the last week. Mañana empezamos ya la última semana de clases, the last five days, okay, los últimos cinco días. And we finish the module on Thursday next week, okay? Terminamos el módulo el jueves de la siguiente semana, Thursday, next week. So if we have no, no problems, right? If everything is normal, okay? We hope so. Eso esperamos. We hope so. All right. So let's begin with, uh, with today's class. And for just to begin, um, I just want to, to share here because I was, uh, I have to, to, to share the, the activities for today. So let me share the activities we are going to do today. So basically uh, for today, uh, we have uh, the first, we are going to make a review about the simple past, okay? And we are going to do one activity. Then we have an activity that is called letter guessing, okay? To complete some vocabulary. Then we are going to study adjectives to show satisfaction and dissatisfaction, right? A simple past exercise and simple past information questions, okay? Basically we have five activities and in case we have more time, we are going to do another activity, okay? So let's start with the first activity. So let's review a little bit of what we studied yesterday. Repasemos un poquito lo que estudiamos ayer. Let's review what we studied yesterday. Uh, so basically we studied uh, WH questions or information questions, right? For example, we said that what is used to ask for information? Like for example, what did you do yesterday? Or, uh, what did you, what? What did you buy last week, for example, information? Who, who the second is used to ask about people. For example, who did you visit in the morning? My father, for example, okay? So who is to ask about people? Gwen is to ask about time, okay? For example, uh, when did you go to the party? Or when did you go to work? Yesterday, you can say, or today. So today is time. Where is to ask about place for a place or location, for a place or location that is the same. For example, um, where did you study uh, university? Where did you study at the university? And then you say, oh, I studied at UDB, UDB, UDB for example, or I don't know, UCA. Okay, so UCA and UDB, it's a place or location. So where is to ask for location? 
why is to ask uh, for a reason. For example, uh, why did you like English? Why did you like English? Ah, because it's important. The reason, because it's important, okay? So we use why to ask for a reason. Which, for choice or option, for example, uh, which movie did you like? Choice, right? Okay. Para dar opciones de algo que me gustó o algo que hice, I don't know. It depends on the purpose of the question or uh, which music uh, did you listen to yesterday? Choice, okay. I listen to romantic music, hip hop, blah, blah, blah. So choice, which is for choice or option or preference in some cases. And finally, how is to ask for way or form or a process in other words, okay? For way or a process maybe. For example, how did you learn English? Ah, oh, I want to know a way, right? Quiero, quiero escuchar la forma, okay? How you learn English, yeah? Very good. So this is what we studied. And we studied this with the simple past. Y estudiamos esto con el pasado simple, okay? So we say what did, who did, when did, and the verb in present, okay? Knowing the meaning of all these words, I have this activity. Okay, I have the question and the answer. Based on the answers, okay, based on the answers, what do I have to use on the space? When, where, who, what, which, or why? Okay, okay, let's check number one. They wanted to see Fiona. Fiona. So what do I need on the first space? ¿Qué necesito en el primer espacio? Fiona is a name, right? W -H. Fiona is a name. Sorry? Uh, WH. How about which WH? ¿Cuál WH tengo que usar? Who, where, when, what? Where? Who? Who? Who, because who is for people, remember. El who, porque el who es para personas, okay? Who is for people, remember. So the answer is, who did they want what? to see? Who did they want to see? ¿A quién querían ver? They wanted to see Fiona, right? Because Fiona is a name, all right? Okay. Number two, I got up at seven o'clock. What do I need on the space? What time? A what time? Este es un poco tricky porque aquí es tiempo y dijimos que para tiempo era when, but we have time, right? Pero tenemos el time. So you say, what time did you get up? ¿A qué hora te levantaste? I got up at seven o'clock. Con, continúen con las demás y solo escriben la respuesta si quieren, okay? And only write the answer. In five minutes, we check. Continue with the others.
Uh, the, I have some typos there. I, I am checking. I'm sorry. Okay. Ahí hay algunos typos. Hay algunos errores. I have some mistakes. Uh, for example, in number four, let, let me erase it here with the pen. In number four, he is not necessary. Este he no va. La número cuatro. Right? This he is not necessary. Okay? In number four. For you to, to make sense of it. Para que tenga sentido. For you to make sense of it. In this one, it's not dinner. Maybe you can say uh, chicken. All right? Para que tenga sentido. So it makes sense. I will say chicken. We had chicken. Uh, then the next is okay. The same in the last one and the ultima you know what? Okay, you don't use you, right? In the last one, in the ultima you know what? You is unnecessary in the last one. Remember that you only need to put one of the information questions, information questions, sorry. It could be what, when, who, where, why, all right? You only need to complete using one of the information questions, okay? Or WH words. Teacher. Tell me, Lucy, sorry. Yes, in the last one, uh, why the, the same question is the answer? Why it's, it's, it's possible? <laughs> the question and answer are the same. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have to give you the answer if I explain to you. We will discuss it at the end when we check, okay? Because if I tell you, I will give you the answer, okay? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah.
I think I will tell you to clarify. I think I will tell you to clarify. I think yeah. I, think I, I know why. <laughs> okay, now you know. Okay, then I won't tell you. Yes, I will explain it when we check. Okay, uh, this is just this is just to review, right? So let's para repasar. This is just review. So after some time of thinking, let's check. So in number one, we say that the answer is who, right? Who did you want to see? A quien querían ver? Okay, who did you want to see? They wanted to see Fiona. Number two, we said is what time? What time did you get up? A qué hora te, te levantaste? I got up at seven o'clock. Me desperté a las siete en punto. Number three. What do you have in number three? How? How, exactly. How much, right? How much did she pay? All right. How much did she pay? She paid $10, okay? How much? Ya estudiamos el how much y el how many before, okay? So let's see number four. What do you have in number four? What do you think why? is why? why didn't like the movie? Mm -hmm. Who? Who, that's right. So the answer is who. Who didn't like the movie? A quien no le gustó la película? He didn't like the movie. A él no le gustó. All right, he didn't like the movie. So it's who. Who didn't like the movie, right? Uh, let's see number five. Number five, this one. Why? Sorry? Why? Why did you have for dinner? Why? Mm, what about the others? What do you think? What? 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 Because the answer is we had chicken. Comimos pollo. We had chicken. So the question is what did you have for dinner? ¿Qué, ¿Con qué cenaron? ¿O qué, ¿Con qué cenaste? Okay? ¿O qué tuviste para la cena? ¿Qué comiste para la, para la cena? Ah, we had chicken, all right? Let's see the next one, number six. Uh, what do you have? What? what? Exactly, what? What time did the meeting finish? The meeting finished late. Good. Next, number seven. What to? What? Only what? Okay, what? What kind of pie did you eat? ¿Qué clase de pastel te comiste? What kinds of what kind of pie did you eat? So it's what? What? I I ate an apple pie, right? An apple pie. Next, number eight. When? When? Because we have last week, la semana pasada, tiempo, verdad? So you say when. When did you play tennis? ¿Cuándo jugaste tennis? I played tennis last week. So it's Gwen. Next, number nine. <laughs> Who? Who? Who, that's right. Who did you write to? ¿A quién le escribiste? Who? Who did you write to? A day, sorry. Who did they write? Who did they write to? A quien escribieron? They wrote to Ellen. Me escribieron a Ellen. And the last one, la última. The last one. Why? Why didn't? Who? Who? Tal vez hubiéramos tenido el use y podríamos usar why, pero no no pegaba con la respuesta, okay? So we put who in the last one, okay? Who? Who didn't eat the chicken? ¿Quién no se comió el pollo? Who didn't eat the chicken? I didn't eat the chicken. Yo no me comí el pollo. I didn't eat the chicken, all right? So that's the way how it is. Maybe this is, um, maybe this exercise is a little bit more complicated, 
but the idea is to, I mean, to, to make things challenging, right? También hacer las cosas un poquito desafiantes a veces, to make things a little challenging, okay? All right, thank you very much for your help with this activity, okay? Don't forget the meaning of the WH questions, please. Que no se les olvide el significado de las palabras que llevan WH. Si no las recuerdan, estudienlas porque eso es importante en una conversación. Y voy a decir esto en español. Las preguntas abiertas son muy importantes en una conversación diaria en inglés. Cómo usar el what, el where, el when, el who, el which. ¿Ok? Esto es muy importante. This is very, very important in English. Muy importante en inglés. ¿All right? So, si se sienten inseguros usando las obvious questions, vayan y repasen hasta que se les queden y las puedan usar. ¿De acuerdo? All right. Ok, perfect. Ok, so let's go then to the next activity. So, uh, in the next activity, no teníamos nada pendiente de ayer, ¿verdad? We didn't have anything pending. No, right? No? No mini yes. homeworks. Teníamos algo pendiente. Yes, we have a homework. You had a homework. I don't remember. Oh my goodness. What is la tarea? What is the homework? Yes. What is the homework? Las preguntas que nos dimos. Sorry? En grupo. Las preguntas que hicieron en grupo. Okay. Sabía que se me estaba escapando algo. I know there was something pending, all right? Good, yeah. You were supposed to write the questions, I mean, in the groups, right? And I have the groups here. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me look for the groups here. Oh, yes. I have the groups here. Okay, let me show you the questions first. Let me show you the questions. Thank you very much, Carla, Raquel, I think, for reminding me. Okay, these questions, right? Yeah. Solo escuchamos un equipo, ¿verdad? We only listen to one team. Who was it? ¿Cuál el equipo fue? Which team was it? It was Santos Group, I think, right? No? Yes. Yes, all right. My group. Was... ¿El grupo de quién fue? It's my, my yeah, group. Santos, a Santos Group, it's correct. Okay, now let's listen then to Irma. Oh, well, we listen to Irma, Carla, and Santos Ezequiel. So now let's listen to Hector, Lucy, and Maria Jose, and Majo. All right, so please, uh, one person can, can read the question, and the other person can read the answers, okay? So Hector, are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, so uh, read the questions, and maybe Majo or, or, or Lucy can, can answer the, your question. I don't know who, no sé quién no va a ser de las dos. Majo or Lucy? It's up to you, Hector, or Majo. Hector, select one, please. Okay. Lucy, okay. okay, Lucy. Okay, Lucy, then. All right, so I, Hector, you ask the questions, and Lucy, you answer the questions, okay? Okay. What did, what did you do before the current, current work? I studied at the university. How did you know about this, about the work? On LinkedIn. Why did, why did you apply for this work? Because I need gain experience. Where did you study? Where did you study? I studied in UCA. Who recommended you this work job? My sister-in-law did. Thank you. All right, that's excellent. As you could see, como pudieron ver, ellos omitieron el did you, ¿verdad? Y dijeron who recommended you this job. Okay, it's okay. Está bien, it's okay. Solo que el who pasa a ser sujeto, ya no es you el sujeto, right? Porque ponemos el verbo después de you. Y omitimos did you. And we use the verb in past. Y usamos el verbo en pasado. Who recommended you, this job. ¿Quién te recomendó este trabajo? Who recommended you this job, okay? And it's fine. Okay, thank you very much, Carlos and Lucy. I mean, Hector and Lucy, I'm sorry. Thank you for your, uh, for sharing. That was really good. Now let's listen to the other group. In the other group, we have Carlos, Ulises, and Mauricio. Carlos, you ready? 
no teacher. Uh, I. Mauricio. I was, yesterday. Oh, yes, yeah, you were in, you were not in class yesterday. Jose Mauricio, are you ready? Sorry. Not ready. Not ready. Okay. Okay. So let's listen to another group then. In the next group, we have Elenilson, Javier, and Carla Maria. So Javier is working. So is uh, we will listen to Elenilson and Carla Maria then. So Elenilson, you can ask the questions, and Carla Maria, you can answer the questions. Okay. Okay. All right. Carla Maria, are you, are you ready? ready? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Adelante. Okay, Carla Maria, what did you buy on Mother's Day? I bought the Hotel de Cameron. Okay, how did you buy it? I bought it at the internet. Perfect, why did you choose it? Because it was a new experience for my mom. Okay, where did you buy it? I bought in the hotel official page. Excellent. Who did you recommend that, recommend that place? It was a recommendation to my co-worker. Okay, that's it, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, maybe in this case, uh, Elenison and Carla Maria, right? Who did you recommend this place? If the question is okay, who did you recommend this place to? Pero si queremos decir a quién le recomendaste este lugar. Who did you recommend this place to? Pero si quieren decir quién te recomendó ese lugar sería who recommended you this place, okay? Ah, oh, okay. Right, Ellen Nielsen? I'm not sure, but it is is a question, right? It's correct, it's correct. But what you want to say is a uh, quién te recomendó ese lugar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Then in the, then in this case you say who recommended you this place would be the sí. question. Esa sería la pregunta. Sin el did. Sin el did. Exactly. Aquí lo que le decía lo que le decía el grupo anterior que el who pasa a ser un sujeto, ¿ok? Y ya el you ya no es el sujeto, ¿ok? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Porque porque va antes del verbo obviamente, right? Obviously. Yeah. And you say yeah. who recommended you. Okay. I, I get it. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you can use different verbs, not for the group, but for everybody, okay? For, para todos, podemos usar el who y después un verbo en pasado. For example, uh, who ate the pupusas? ¿Quién se comió las pupusas? Who ate the pupusas, right? Or who ate the pupusas I left on the table? Or who bought this uh, television? Who bought this television? ¿Quién compró esta televisión? Who bought this television? So podemos usar un verbo después de who en pasado. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. Depending on what we want to say. Dependiendo de lo que queramos decir. Depending on what we want to say, right? Okay? Yeah. Very good. Okay, thank you very much, Carla Maria and Ellen Nilsson. And okay. en quien más estaba, en Javier, right? Okay, thank you very much for your uh, work. Now let's listen to Daniel, Hazel, Rafael, and Wendy. Are you ready? Hazel is connected, I think. Pero no sé si está lista. And Wendy is connected too. No sé si están listas, Hazel or Wendy. Hazel or Wendy, are you ready? camino. Okay, no problem, it's okay. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you for sharing your work, everybody. Thank you. Y gracias por recordarme. Thank you for reminding me, okay? Very good. And uh, now let's go to the next activity. So look, uh, for today, as you remember, si recuerdan, if you remember uh, in like three days ago, I think, like two or three days ago, we started uh, things that customers and representatives do when reporting a problem, okay? We started what customers and representatives do when reporting a problem or the vocabulary they use, el vocabulario que usan. For example, e hicimos un matching con ese vocabulario. So we need to complete the words 
with the corresponding letters. For example, number one, ¿cómo creen que quedaría? What do you think? Uh, we pick have up. to pick up, exactly. Pick up. Pick up what? Okay, you say pick. Okay. Pick up pick what? Pick up the phone. The, the phone. phone, exactly. So pick up the, the phone. So Necesitamos adivinar las letras que van para completar las palabras, ¿ok? So, number one is pick up the phone, right? So, complete the other words, please. Continúe con las demás. Continue with the others. Call. Ok, ok. Do ah, first perdón, and then perdón. No, it's ok, no problem. Es que no fui muy claro. Háganlo primero y luego compartimos, ¿ok? So, do it first and then we share, ¿ok? This vocabulary is on page number... Let me check, 29, I think. This vocabulary is on page number 29, if you want to check. Página 29, pueden encontrar este vocabulario, page 29. Provecho, Carla Raquel. Buen apetit. <laughs>
Uh, so please, when you feel ready, uh, go to reactions and raise your hands. So I know the people who have finished, ¿ok? Cuando estén listos, vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano para ver cuántos han terminado. Por favor, please, ¿ok? That helps me a lot. Eso me ayuda para dar seguimiento de quienes han terminado. Así para avanzar a la siguiente actividad. To go to the next activity, ¿ok? So please help me with that. Reactions and raise hand. Thank you, Rachel and Ulysses. Uh, the vocabulary is on page 29, if that helps you, okay? Si les ayuda el vocabulario está en la página 19. 
is on a bank never sorry page 29 sorry okay if that helps you so you can go and check if not you are not going to finish if not you are not going to finish because you're just trying to guess go and check the vocabulary to page number 29 okay vayan a revisar a la página 29 go and check page 29 All right, we'll check in two minutes, okay? We'll check in two minutes. Revisaremos en dos minutos. We'll check in two minutes.
Okay, let's let's start checking. Uh, let's start checking. So if you have the answers, please tell me. Okay, so number two, what is the answer? What is the word in number two? Cow. Bye. Sorry? Bye. 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 So the answer bye. In, bye. That's correct. Bye. So the answer in number two is bye. 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 Let me see if I have a different color. Bye, right? Bye is the answer for number two. Okay, mira. I think I will put it in black. Okay. So for number two, the answer is bad. Okay, let's see number three. Call. Sorry? Call. Call is correct. In number two, the answer is call. Number four? Get prices. Sorry? Get prices. Get prices, all right? Get prices is correct. Uh, it gets prices, right? Okay, let's see number five. Explain. Explain is correct. Explain, no se escucha. Gracias. Right? Okay, explain. In number six, what do you have? Complain. Complain. Complain is correct. So here is complain, right? That's correct. In number seven? Help. Sorry? Help. Help. Help is correct. Help. Uh, in number eight? Assist. 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 With double S, right? Con double S. Assist. Double S and double S, or how do you write assist? Solo en la primera lleva double S. Ah, only yes, one yes. S, right? Assist. Okay, thank you. Uh, number nine? Received. Received is correct. So you have re receive. Thank you. Yeah, receive. Number 10? Understand. understand. Exactly. Understand. Number 11? Provide. 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 Provide what? One's provide one's information. Provide one's information. information. Provide one's information. Okay. Provide one's information. It's correct. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, in number 12, request information. Exactly. So, number request. 12 is request information. All right. So, that's how, <clears throat> how, that's how they say. De esa manera les, les quedaron a todos. That's how you have them all. Así las tienen? Yes. That's how you have them? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so I will stop sharing here. And I will pass the attendance the second time. Les pasaré asistencia y luego vamos a hacer una actividad en equipo. And then we do an, uh, an activity in groups. Okay? So let me pass the attendance. Carlos? Present teacher. Cla uh, Claudia, no right. Cristina? Present. Daniel? Doris? Present. Ellen Eason? Present teacher. Elsie? Present teacher. Hazel? Hector? Present teacher. Irma? Present teacher. Javier? Johnny, Mauricio, Johnny is not connected. Right? No. Okay, Mauricio is. Lucy, present. Aho, present. Teacher. Rafa, present. Teacher. Santos, present. Teacher. Ulises, present. Teacher. Wendy? I am here, teacher. Carla Maria? Present. And Carla Raquel? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, so we will try to do the next activity in groups. Vamos a intentar hacer la siguiente actividad en grupos. 
So please uh, pay attention to the instructions because I am not going to visit like different groups, okay? I am going to stay in one group only, okay? Me voy a quedar solo en un grupo para evitar problemas de la plataforma. So please pay attention to the instructions, okay? So listen, uh, in the next activity, let me go here. In the next activity, okay, let me get the cursor. The pointer. Okay, in the next activity, you need to write a list of adjectives to express customers' satisfaction and customers' dissatisfaction. All right? So you need to write a list of adjectives to express customers' satisfaction and customers' dissatisfaction. Okay? What is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo primero? What is an adjective? Any idea? How do you define the word adjective? ¿Cómo define la palabra adjetivo? Describe. Describes. A noun. A noun, exactly. An adjective describes a noun. For example, um, how can you describe a satisfaction with a product? Con una palabra. ¿Cómo describen la satisfacción con un producto? Con una palabra, with one word. Let's give one example. Good quality. Okay, that's right. So we can say good quality. Uh, another way to express it? How do you feel, for example, when you are when you are satisfied with a product? You like the service? Yeah, but, but that pero la idea es escribir adjetivos. And you like the service is not an adjective. Ese no es un adjetivo, serían adjetivos. Nice. For example, you feel nice. Nice or happy, maybe you can say. Now to show resist, dissatisfaction. Sorry. Uh, for satisfaction, resist, res, como resistente. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero resistente. O durable, durable, no sé. Okay, uh, durable. All right. I like it more. Okay, durable, the experience, right? Oh, or maybe you could say, I don't know. It just comes to my mind uh, that you could say angry because when you are dissatisfied with a product, you feel angry, right? Cuando están, no están satisfechos, se sienten enojados, you feel angry, all right? So please, I say it again. Van a escribir adjetivos, no oraciones, adjectives, palabritas así como estas, okay? Words like this. De acuerdo? All right. Yes, no questions, no questions. So this is on page 37, eso está en la página 37, it's on page 37, página 37, page 37. So is it clear? ¿Está claro qué van a hacer? Lo que van a hacer, is it clear what you have to do? More or less. More or less. Van a escribir adjetivos, okay? Adjectives. Pueden investigar si quieren. Adjetivos para describir, adjetivos, por ejemplo, para describir satisfacción. In English, right? Adjectives to describe satisfaction. And you investigate and investiga. Or adjectives to describe the satisfaction. All right? And you investigate. Yeah? The idea is that you have a list of some adjectives. All right? All right? It's okay. All right. Very good. So let's go to working groups then. Uh, we will make groups of around three or four people, okay? Let's go.
Uh, hello, hello. Sorry, Mauricio. Did you have a question? Hello. Ni alguna pre tenías alguna pregunta? Es que vi que la mano estaba levantada. Lo siento. Ah, sorry. No, no la había bajado. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Continue. All right. Durability. Hola. Durability. Dura. ¿Y cómo se escribe durability? Du... Sí, cómo se escucha. <laughs> durability con y griega al final. Why? Durability sería un noun, no sería un adjective. No. Noun. Yes. Es? No es una característica del producto. Durabilidad. Maybe durable. You can say durable. Es el adjetivo. Durable. Durable. Dura. Durable. Okay. Durable. Yeah, that's, a, that's an adjective. Ese es un adjetivo. Uh -huh. Recuerden que los adjetivos describen, en este caso, describen la palabra satisfacción. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Cómo describen esa satisfacción que tuvieron con el producto? Ah, me sentí feliz, tal vez, enojado, no sé, agradecido. Okay, esas son, esos son adjetivos. Eh, impresionado, decepcionado, no sé, ok. Esos son adjetivos, ok. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Eh... Charming. <laughs> pleasure. Oh. Pleasure. Oh. Pleasure. Maybe please. Please. Raquel, maybe you can say please. Please. Ajá, please, con D al final. Please, como por favor y con D al final. Please, complacido. Please. Please. Mm -hmm. Please. Happy puede, ser, puede tratarse como un adjetivo. Yes, it's correct. Funniest. Sorry? Funniest. Funny. Funny. Uh-huh. But to describe satisfaction, para, para escribir satisfacción. Mm. Happy. 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 Fascinated, maybe. Fascinado. Fascinated. Fascinated. I'm, I'm giving you ideas, okay? Angry, but angry is dissatisfaction. Or dissatisfaction, exactly. Uh, angry girl. <laughs> How full, teacher? I think Mauricio is saying one. Creo que Mauricio le está dando uno por ahí. Ah, okay. Where well, from? ¿Cómo, cómo, amor? Strong. 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 Yo tenemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, satisfaction. Bueno, yo tengo cinco. Price, durable, pleasure, ple no, plead. Oh, please. Uh -huh. Happy, Happy, strong. Sí. No, ¿Se me queda alguna? Happy, 
Dissatisfaction, angry, sad, <laughs> sad, uh -huh. frustration, well, frustration, this fashion, sorry, uh, sorry. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry for this Roger. Carlos, <laughs> Carlos, eh, lo mandé para acá porque quería saber en qué equipo estaba. Creo que lo sacó el internet. Sí, me estoy, okay. estaba en el inicio en el 4, de ahí me puso en el 5 y de ahí apareció. Aquí. Ajá, pero, pero de, antes, antes, es que lo pasé para acá, lo pasé para acá porque para, para ver en cuál estaba, para enviarlo otra vez, pero de inicio con el que estaba trabajando. En el 4. Con Cristina, Javier y Santos. Eh, creo que sí, pero el 4. Ok, ahorita Rupo. lo envío. Ok, ahorita lo envío al 4 entonces. Ok. Ok, continue, sorry, continue. I'm sorry. Sorry? Displeasure. What do you mean? como disgusto. You um, maybe yeah. you say disgusted, 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 disgusted. Yeah, um, this picture, um, I don't think so. Okay. Estoy viendo los reclamos de los gringos de, del trabajo para encontrarlo. No, <laughs> Awful teacher. Yes, that's correct. You can say hopeful. Discortes, no sé si se dice, no. Como, como descortés, pero es que la, era kind, ¿cómo que se decía? Se me olvidó. Impolite, or unkind, maybe, I don't know. No, es, eh, I don't remember. Can be impolite or unkind, I think. Un, unkind. Unkind, yeah. Unkind. Unkind or unkind? Un, unkind.
anti anti Uh, is the correct form? Uh, normally, how do you say uh, this animal? Disappointed. Disappointed. Ah. Yeah. Disappointed. Yeah. Aplica para que Yes. Yes, for dissatisfaction. Disappointment. Yeah. Disappointed. With ed. Con ed al final, disappointed. Yeah. El Nilsson, uh, sorry, ¿en qué equipo estaba para enviarlo? Ya, yeah, no me acuerdo, solo me acuerdo que estaba con Rafa, con... con... ¿Dónde está Rafa? A, a él el único que alcancé a ver. Con Carla, María y Lucy. Exacto. Ok, bueno, para, lo, lo traje acá para enviarlo a ese grupo, para preguntar. Oh, ok. Ok, ahorita veo. Sí, es el número dos, team number two. You finished, uh, Carlos? I mean, Hector, sorry, you finished? I think so. All right, let's go then. Vámonos, entonces, let's okay. go. Okay, let's wait for the rest. Esperemos a los demás. Let's wait for the rest. Ahí les envié una listita de verbos al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? De verbos regulares e irregulares, okay? Eh, se los mandé porque ya los vamos a utilizar en un momento, okay? Para una actividad. We are going to use them in a moment for one activity, okay? Okay, everyone. Well, I guess, yeah, everybody's here now. Okay, I, a moment ago, I sent a list of verbs to the WhatsApp group, okay? I sent the list because we need verbs to complete the next activity, okay? We need verbs to complete the next activity. So on the list, we have present, past, and past participle, I think, right? But we'll check in a moment. By now, let's check the activity you completed, okay? Uh, let's listen. Maria, Jose, and Ulises. Let's listen to Ulises. Ulises, are you ready? Mention 
three adjectives of satisfaction and three adjectives for dissatisfaction. Three and three. Okay. Um, get it. Three for satisfaction and three for dissatisfaction. Three and three. Entonces voy a okay. decir la satisfaction en Ulises para decir la dissatisfaction. Ah, all right. Yeah, it's better because you, the two of you participate. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Mm -hmm. mm. And the satisfaction or the complaint and re pushers and satisfies for the product and good brand. Good brand, okay. Very good, thank you. Ulysses, dissatisfaction, right? Dissatisfaction, okay. Uh, high price, product shortage, and product sold out. Okay, very good. Uh, you, you, use, uh, you use compound adjectives. That's okay, no problem, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Ulysses, and thank you, Maho, is correct, okay? Uh, although you were supposed to use only the adjective, right? Only the adjective, yeah? The last ones are okay, but in the ones Mahos mentioned, I think we have one adjective that is with another complement, but the adjective, it's okay. All right, so thank you, Maho and Ulysses. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to the other uh, group. Elenilson, Carla Maria, Lucy, and Rafael. Maybe, Ele, uh, let's see, maybe Elenilson, you can write the three, three adjectives for satisfaction. And, and, and Elsie can share three for dissatisfaction, okay? Okay, teacher. Teacher, perdón. A mí me está, me está dando problema. Ah, okay. No por problem. Eso no pude. Sí. Carla Maria, then. Carla Maria, three for dissatisfaction, okay? Okay. Ellen Nielsen, go ahead. Okay. Uh... I got uh, thankful, glad, and the same satisfied. Insatisfied, the same. Say yeah. another one that is not satisfied. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have only three with satisfied. <laughs> yeah. All right, no problem. Carla Maria, okay. for the satisfaction. And discounter, confuse, yeah. and tired, refuse. All right, very good. It's excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's see the other group. That, that's excellent. Ellen Nielsen's group. Thank you very much. In the next group, we have, oh no, let, let me see who we have here. Doris, Hector, and Jose Mauricio, I think, right? Okay, maybe uh, Doris, you say the satisfaction adjectives and Mauricio the dissatisfaction adjectives, okay? Okay. Three. Three. Satisfaction is price, durable, and complex. And? Complex. All right. Yeah, maybe please. All right. Very good. Thank you, Doris. Uh, please. Uh, Mauricio, dissatisfaction, three. I think he's not here. Hector, then. Uh, angry, sad, disgusted. And disgusted. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Hector. Uh, now let's listen to the other group. Room five, room four, sorry. We had uh, room five, sorry. We had Irma, Carla, and Wendy. Irma, satisfaction, and Carla, Raquel, dissatisfaction. Okay. Yes, satisfaction, happy. Yeah. Cool. A genius. Can you repeat number three, please? A genius, como genial. Ah, ah, genuine. All right. Yeah, it's okay. Genuino, como genuino, right? Genuine. All right. Very good. Thank you. That's excellent, Irma. So, uh, Carla Raquel, the satisfaction, three. Oh, all, poor, the angry. Angry. Oh, mention the second again, please. Angry. Number two. Number two. 
poor. Poor. poor, ah, poor, poor, like poor quality. Okay, it's excellent. Thank you very much, Carla. That's very, very good. And thank you everyone for your participation. Okay, very good. Uh, now let's go to the next activity. And for the next activity, we need the verbs. Para la siguiente actividad, vamos a usar los verbos que les mandé al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? Así que no me digan, teacher, pero es que yo no me sé ese verbo. No, por eso le mandé la lista ahorita para que vayan a revisarla para completar la siguiente actividad, okay? So let me explain to you the activity. Oh, in the next activity, we have some examples, okay? These examples are on page 38. Están en la página 38. They are on page 38, okay? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? The examples are in negative, in past. You will pass these examples to positive. Remember, in positive, the verb is in past. Si no saben el pasado del verbo, vayan a revisar la lista. Go and check the list. All right, please. Let's do number one together. Hagamos el número uno juntos. Let's do number one together. ¿Cómo quedaría en positivo? In positive. She bought. She bought. She bought. Exactly. That's she bought. Computer. She bought. Porque el pasado de buy is bought. She bought that computer. That computer. Would be the correct form, right? She bought that computer. All right, so that's number one. So el verbo cambia a pasado. Okay? Continue con las demás. Continue with the rest. Vayan a revisar la lista WhatsApp si no saben el verbo, if you don't know the verb. Important. Importante. Si no aparece en la lista de irregulares, es regular, ¿ok? Y para regular solo le ponemos ED o aplicamos las reglas para el pasado. Yeah. Eh, Nadia Polo ya dice, me, me disculpo de antemano si me desconecto porque está lloviendo bastante fuerte aquí en Son Sonato. Ah. Okay. okay, Lucy. Okay. Hope, hope uh, you don't have problems with the connection. Espero que no tenga problemas con la conexión. <coughs> okay. En la primera columna están en presente los verbos y en la segunda columna están en pasado, ¿ok? Esa es la forma en pasado, la de la segunda columna, ¿ok? Para que no se confundan, for you not to get confused.
Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna give you two more minutes for this because it's been too much time, okay? So in two more minutes, we check what you have, okay? In two minutes, we check what you have. In two minutes, we check what you have. Do you have any question, Carlos? No? No, ah, okay. I'm asking because you activated your microphone, okay? Yeah, but but no, no. <laughs> All right, no problem. Thanks. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see what you have. I think it was enough time, right? Uh, let's see. Who wants to share number two? Quien quiere compartir la dos? Who wants to share number two? We brought that package. Repeat it, please. We brought that package. Okay, we, uh, let me write it here. We brought that, that package. We brought that package, right? Okay, thank you. That's correct, okay? Who wants to share number three? The client called it yesterday. That's right. The client, okay. Uh, the client called with ED, right? Yesterday, right? Yes. Number four. Who wants to share number four? The employer's read email. Repeat it, please. The employer's yeah. read the email. Okay, so uh, the pronunciation is the same, right? Read in past is the same, but the pronunciation is different. The pronunciation in past is red. The employers read the email, like the color, okay, como el color rojo, red, oh. read the email, okay? So the, 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 the spelling is the same, la escritura es la misma, pero la pronunciación cambia. You say red in the past and read in the present, okay? Thank you. Number five. Our boss came back last week. That's right. Our boss came, came back, back last, last week. week, right? Last yeah. week. Thank you very much. Uh, next, number six. They canceled the meeting. With ED, right? With ED, Javier, con ED, cancel. Yeah. Okay, they cancel the meeting then. Okay, they cancel the meeting. Excellent. Uh, number seven. The lady wanted, the lady to, complain. wanted to complain. That's right. Thank you. Two at a time. Thank you. Thank you very much. The lady wanted or wanted to complain. Okay. La chica quería quejarse. The, the lady wanted to complain. Wanted, you can say wanted or wanted, the pronunciation, okay? Wanted or wanted. The lady wanted 
to complain. And the last one, number eight. I sent the refund to this email. That's right, with, with here, like this, I see. I sent, yes. all right, yes. excellent, Carla Maria. I sent the refund, uh, you say refund, Carla, to this email, right? I send the refund to this email. Así les quedaría, okay? Si quieren darle una captura, if you want to make a screenshot so you have it on your on your cell phone or computer, I don't know, okay? If you want to make a screenshot. Okay, very good. Now let's quickly let's go to the next activity. Oh, let me pass the attendance. Solo paso asistencia y vamos a realizar la siguiente actividad juntos, okay? We'll do the next activity together. Carlos? Present. Cristina? Present. Daniel? Doris? Present. Ellen Nilsson? Present, teacher. Elsie? Hazel? Hector? Present. Your teacher. All right. Irma? Present, teacher. Javier. Present teacher. Johnny. Mauricio. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Ajo. Present teacher. Ok, Rafa. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. Carla Maria. I am your teacher. Okay, Carla Maria. Present. And Carla Raquel. That's right, she's here. Okay, Present thank you. Teacher. Okay, no problem. I know you're here. Okay, vamos a la siguiente actividad juntos. All right, listen. Here we have some verbs. Aquí tenemos algunos verbos. Tenemos el verbo do, que es hacer. Do is hacer. Go, buy, work, read, and and see, que es ver. So the idea is that you create information questions using this verb. Okay, van a crear preguntas usando when, where, what, who, all right? Or which if you want, okay? Uh, for example, ¿cómo sería una pregunta con el, con el primer verbo? Using what? What do you do on Friday? Pero, pero en pasado. In past. What? No sería do, sería did, porque es en pasado. Did. Okay, what did you do on, on Friday? Okay, that's excellent. Uh, una pregunta con go? Puede ser usando cualquier WH word. Puede ser why, who, when, what. Where did you go? Sorry? Where did you go? Where did you go? Sería importante que usáramos una expresión de tiempo. Where did you go? Okay. Las, when, no sé, la semana pasada. Where did you week. go? Uh, where did you go? Yesterday. The last. Last week. Ok, pongamos last week. La semana last pasada. night. O last night. Ok, last night. Where did you go last night? Okay, ¿dónde fuiste la anoche? Where did you go last night? Using by. You can say when, where, what. Cualquiera de esas pueden usar. Solo le ponen un complemento a by. Si quieren usar when o where. Why buy this thing? <laughs> Why did you buy? This thing. These things. All right. ¿Por qué compraste estas cosas? Why did you buy these things? Okay, it's okay. Uh, now using work. Working. Puede ser, ¿dónde trabajaste el año pasado? How do you say that in English? ¿Dónde trabajaste el año pasado? Where did you work? Exactly. Where did you work last Last year. Last year. 
¿Dónde trabajaste el año pasado? Where did you work last year? Read. Yeah. Y en la cuatro, si yo quisiera preguntar quién trabajó, ¿cuál sería el sujeto? Who. Who worked. Y el verbo en pasado. Who worked. ¿Quién trabajó? Who worked. Worked pero, con ED. Pero. No usamos o sea, no, sentir. No ocupa. Ah, okay. No, porque el who está funcionando como sujeto. Es como lo que decíamos, el de who recommended. Mm -hmm. It's the same Ajá. here. Uh, who worked? ¿Quién trabajó? Ok. Yeah. Okay. Read. Usando read. ¿Cuándo leíste ese libro? How do you say that in English? ¿Cómo decimos eso en inglés? ¿Cuándo leíste ese libro? When did you read that book? When did you... Read that book. ¿Cuándo leíste ese libro? I am helping you in Spanish, so you pass it to English. Okay? The idea is that you manage the structure in English. La idea es que ustedes manejen la estructura en inglés, no importa que yo se lo diga en español, ¿ok? But the most important for me is that you manage the structure in English. Lo importante para mí es que manejen la estructura en inglés, aunque yo se lo diga en español, ¿ok? No problem. Sí. ¿Qué película viste ayer? ¿Qué? What did you see? What movie did you see yesterday? All right. You say, what movie? Sorry. What movie did you see yesterday? Okay. ¿Qué película viste ayer? What movie did you see yesterday? Okay. So, así quedaría entonces. Por favor. Hagan una captura porque mañana vamos a practicar estas preguntas, ¿ok? Hagan una captura porque mañana vamos a practicar estas preguntas antes de empezar la clase. Before we start the class, we will practice these questions tomorrow. So make a screenshot. Háganles una captura. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ready? Yes, no, yes, no. Yes, yes. Ya. Yeah. Ok, mandan la captura ahí al grupo para que la tengamos todos. Ok, los que la hicieron. Ones who did the, who made the screenshot. Ok, everybody. Well, the class is over. It's time. And the unit is over too. Terminamos la unidad y terminamos la clase. Ok, we finish the unit and the, and the class. Ok, tomorrow we we'll start unit number four. Mañana empezamos la última unidad que sería la cuatro. Unit four. Do you have any question about today's class? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de la clase de hoy? Do you have any question about today's class? No? Everything is clear. Teacher, for today. Yes. ¿Dónde vamos a llegar en las tareas? Todas las tareas de la sección 3. Todas las tareas que están dentro de la sección 3 hay que completarlas. No he revisado, por cierto. Déjenme echar un, un vistazo rápido antes de que, de que nos desconectemos porque eso es importante para mí. This is important for me. No se me desconecten, por favor. Okay, don't get disconnected. Solo he echo un vistazo así rapidito para ver si alguien me debe algo. Pase rápido. It will be fast. Ya estoy entrando ahorita. Okay. Ahorita voy a revisar. Son todas las tareas de la sección 3. Eh, Raquel, Carla, Raquel. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ahorita voy a ver ya el libro de calificaciones para ver cómo van. Por aquí estoy. Vamos a ver. Estamos bien, estamos bien acá. Hazel tiene 60%, si llega al 100% sería bueno. Irma tiene 40% en la sección 3, creo que le faltan algunas actividades. José Mauricio tiene 68%, Johnny no ha trabajado, la sección 3. 
Sección 3, ¿verdad? Estoy hablando de sección 3 específicamente, para que tengan una idea. Así que Irma necesita terminar. Rafa no ha hecho la sección 3 tampoco. No sé si ya logró solucionar lo del correo. No, teacher. Me he estado curando la cabeza todos estos días y no me entra, o sea, no, 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 no me sale nada. Okay. Pero le prometo que mañana yo le cumplo. Oiga. Si no puede resolver, hay que escribir a inglés corporativo porque no podemos seguir con ese problema. Ok. Ulises tiene 60% en la tarea 3, hay que terminarla. Wendy también no, tiene no. que terminar. La sección 3 tiene 44%. Ok. Los que no han terminado, por favor. Ayúdenme y no se vayan a dormir sin antes terminar las tareas. ¿Ok? Ok. Ulises, Wendy y quién más? Rafa dijo que mañana, ¿verdad? Va a hablar lo, de la, lo del correo. Ok, ok, everybody. Well, thank you very much for connecting today. See you tomorrow. Take care and goodbye. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. Sure. God willing. Yeah. Hmm. Maris, Mauricio, it's your turn today, right? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, no, era Majo que le correspondía a la sesión 1 a 1 hoy. Yes. Estuviste <laughs> el... Oh, bueno. Ni modo, okay. se fue más, se le olvidó, creo. Creo que sí. Ok, no. good night. Good night, teacher.